Hey guys, so uh, WWE Clash of Champions happened tonight, and uh, overall the show was good. Uh, nothing spectacular, but you'll see why I think it was good as I'll break it down match by match. And uh, yeah, let's get started. The first match was on the kickoff show. It was Nia Jax versus Alicia Fox. And uh, the match itself was pretty much a squash match. Um, Alicia Fox was able to mount uh, a little bit of offense before Nia Jax was able to put her away with relative ease. Uh, they're building up Nia Jax as a beast and it's working so far. She's moved on from jobbers to superstars. So it's interesting to see who she'll squash next. Um, my guess is someone a little closer to the uh, women's title picture before she eventually sets her sights on that. But yeah, no big surprise here. Nia Jax easily defeats Alicia Fox on the kickoff show. Uh, after that, the uh, main show started with the Tag Team Championships up for grabs. It was New Day defending their belts against Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. And the match itself was really good. Uh, Anderson and Gallows uh, came out looking like they did back in Japan, just whooping everybody. Uh, they destroyed the New Day from the start of the match. And I thought for sure that this was going to be the night that Gallows and Anderson finally uh, got the tag team titles off of New Day. But no, New Day ends up getting the win, which baffles me. Uh, I can't really take Gallows and Anderson seriously after that horrible uh, 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 ring post itis gimmick and then the nursing home gimmick. And uh, now they're, they came out looking like total bruisers and then just fell flat at the end with New Day picking up the win. Um, I like the New Day, but I thought for sure Gals and Anderson were going to pick up this win and get the tag team titles. And uh, yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen now. Uh, I get, My guess is uh, hopefully that they continue this rivalry till hell in a cell where Gals and Anderson can probably take the belts off of New Day. Because uh, Gals and Anderson, as I said, I can't take them seriously. Uh, they just talk the talk, they don't walk the walk. And I don't get how anybody's supposed to take them seriously now that they lost again to the New Day with the Tag Team Championships on the line. Um, after that, it was the Cruiserweight Championship match between uh, TJP and Brian Kendrick. Really solid match, really good match. Uh, I love that WWE brought back the Cruiserweight division. And uh, for the match, uh, WWE really separated the Cruiserweight division from uh, everybody else by having the ropes purple. Uh, they put the they put like purple looking. Uh, turnbuckle pads on and then I think the uh, the big big jumbotron had like a purple glow to it during the match really solid match lots of cool spots TJP got the win which was a very easy call everybody saw that was gonna happen against Brian Kendrick and uh, after the match Brian Kendrick uh, I think he headbutted uh, Perkins uh, so Kendrick is now heel and definitely looks like this feud is going to continue and the cruiserweight division uh, should be interesting now that there is a clear heel in Kendrick. And I wonder what they're going to do uh, with this rivalry. Because you still have a bunch of other cruiserweights in the division. As well as the main like focus of the division with the championship rivalry. So they're going to have like other cruiserweights feud and then have the championship feud. Um, I'd really like to see where WWE is going to go with that. But tonight, TJP retains his cruiserweight title with Kendrick turning heel in the process. Uh, following that... It was Cesaro vs. Sheamus and the final of their best of seven series and match of the night in pin of my in the match of the night in my opinion. They tore the house down. Very scary moment when Cesaro dove outside the ring and landed square on his head. Um, it looked horrible. I thought he was for sure hurt really bad. Referee like came sprinting out of the ring to immediately check on Cesaro. Uh, he was he seemed fine, was able to continue to match. Um, as I said. I thought this was match of the night until the end. The end was just so dumb. Uh, the ref, uh, Cesaro, clothesline Sheamus over a barricade. They both fell outside the ring, and the doctors at ringside said that neither man was able to compete in the match anymore. So they just ended it in a uh, no contest. So looks like this feud is going to continue. I have no idea how. My guess, I, I mean, I guess they're going to build it up to Hell in a Cell and make that like a Hell in a Cell match as the final in this best of seven series match but it's just a shame that such a great match had a horrible ending uh, so yeah Cesaro and Sheamus ends in a no contest uh, after that Chris Jericho versus Sami Zayn this was a really good match uh, very entertaining and I thought for sure Zayn was gonna go over Jericho here but no Jericho wins after a code breaker because um, it's a clean pin one two three and yeah, I was shocked 
because Jericho's put over uh, Styles, he's put over Ambrose, he's put over Owens. All three of them also got world title gold, so maybe Zayn will be next. But uh, Zayn loses to Chris Jericho in the middle of the ring, one, two, three. Um, I don't think this rivalry is far from o uh, is over. Um, I think it's going to continue through Hell in a Cell, and hopefully Zayn can come out on top at the end of this rivalry. But as of tonight, Jericho beats Zayn with a code breaker. Uh, after that, it was Charlotte versus Bailey versus Sasha Banks in a triple threat match for the Raw Women's Title. Really good match. Um, I thought Sasha Banks was gonna win with uh, Dana Brooke possibly costing Charlotte the belt, but that did not happen. Dana Brooke proved to be a valuable protege to Charlotte, helping her out multiple times throughout the match. And uh, in the end, Charlotte retains her belt by uh, I think she pinned Bailey. Um, yeah, she pinned Bailey to retain the belt. It was a weird segment towards the end, like Bailey was going for a sunset flip. Charlotte was reaching for the ropes, but ended up grabbing, I think, Sasha Banks' hair, and then somehow she got out of it, beat Bailey after I think it boots to the face. So yeah, Bailey was pinned by Charlotte. Charlotte is still your women's champion. Um, I still think that they're inching closer and closer to Sasha regaining the belt and then I guess turning heel in, in the process and feuding with Bailey, while well, Dana Brooke and Charlotte will have their own little feud on the side in the women's division on Raw. But as of tonight, Charlotte still your women's champion for Raw. Uh, after that, it was the United States Championship match. Roman Reigns taking on Rusev. Really good match, a lot of fun to watch, hard hitting, brutal match. Um, Lana got involved and was eventually tossed. And uh, that opened the door for Roman Reigns to get the uh, clean pin over Rusev to become the new United States Champion. And Roman Reigns is cemented in the mid-card now. Um, uh, for now, at least. Uh, he's probably going to move back up to the main event scene in a little bit. But as for now, he's your, U he is your new United States Champion. Uh, really solid match. Uh, there's going to be a rubber match, obviously, probably at Hell in a Cell, I would think with Reigns and Rusev. Uh, really good uh, match overall and a lot of fun to watch. Uh, after that, the main event, Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins for the Universal title. Uh, really good match, a lot of fun to watch. Really cool spot where Owens uh, was going for a senton, goes right through the announce table, completely misses Rollins. And they both did the DX cross chops. Um, I was expecting Triple H to get involved in this match. He did not, instead it was Chris Jericho. Um, I get that him and Owens are tag team partners and whatnot, but this was just weird. Uh, the match was going really good until the end. As I said, Jericho gets involved, and then uh, the referee gets knocked down, and Stephanie McMahon sends in a referee really late to uh, replace the fallen ref. Owens hits the pop-up powerbomb, pins rounds, one, two, three, and walks out the Universal Champ still. Uh, after the matchup, they just had a close-up on Stephanie McMahon's face, and it looked like she had a bit of a smirk. Um, so I guess they're alluding to that she and Triple H are in cahoots with uh, Kevin Owens as their guy. But having Chris Jericho get involved was just weird, and then the mat, the ending to the match, I thought was just dumb. Uh, really put a damper on what had been a really fun night for the most part. Aside from like the weird match endings, it was it was just weird see that match end like that with Chris Jericho getting involved. Uh, it was funny though, um, as the show was going off the air, you saw Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho with their arms around each other and Chris Jericho singing We Are The Champions. Um, but yeah, just an odd way to end the night with Jericho and possibly Stephanie McMahon helping out Kevin Owens. Um, I thought it would have been a lot better if Triple H got involved and then that would definitely set up a future rivalry with Rollins and Triple H. We'll advance that storyline because you know they're going to have a one-off uh, sooner or later, but just a weird ending to um, what was a, for the most part, good show. Not as good as Backlash, in my opinion. Uh, so far, since this brand split, I think SmackDown's been kicking Raw's butt in terms of quality and on both uh, TV shows and on the pay-per-views. So, uh, SmackDown's, I think, next pay-per-view is in two weeks at No Mercy, so that should be a fun one. And uh, hopefully it goes a lot better than Raw's tonight. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, Clash of Champions, just a good show, not better than No Mercy. And it just shows that Raw still has a lot of work to do in terms of quality, because SmackDown's just been delivering solid programming in and out with their TV shows and, the per and their pay-per-views. And uh, yeah, so as for me, I prefer SmackDown as of now. But Raw, still tune in, and uh, hopefully they can recover from this weird night tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw. 
And yeah, so if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button on screen, or by going down below and clicking subscribe. That way, make sure you follow me on Twitter at CincyFanZone. I live tweet during various sporting events, wrestling events, and it's also the easiest and fastest way to get updates on my website. And speaking of my website, check it out, CincyFanZone.blogspot.com. You can click the button on screen or click the description in the link below. Alright, weekly blog post for it. Every video on my YouTube channel is over there. I also have bobheads, autographs, pictures, and a whole lot more. So definitely give it a look. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.